Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the bomber number BB5020-045-640 uh, swing clear full mortise standard weight ball bearing steel base oil rubbed bronze hinge. So first of all this is a swing clear hinge and that very well might uh, make this very uh, well known to you already uh, by just calling it a swing clear hinge. If it does not, uh, here's what a swing clear hinge is. A swing clear hinge is the type of hinge that when the door opens to 90 degrees, the hinge is completely removed out of this visible or the clear opening width of the doorway. Where you're going to see these often uh, is in a hotel, a handicap compliant door in a hotel, the bathroom will often have a swing clear hinge because the code says that you've got to have a clear dimension between or a clear opening, uh, you know, for handicap compliance. And it could be that the uh, requirement when the doors open at 90 degree with a standard hinge, the door actually hangs into the opening and occupies a bit of the space. So that swing clear hinge because the axis of pivoting is moved out this way it allows the door to completely get out of the opening when, it, when the door is at 90 degree. A standard hinge, when you're viewing it at, from this perspective, the knuckle would be about here, of course. Whereas with a hinge like this, it's put out at 90 degrees. So first of all, let's dissect this part number from Bomber. This is a BB hinge. It's ball bearing. And on a standard weight hinge, which is also part of the 5020 part number, that means that there's two bearing packets. The 5020 is a reference indeed to both full mortise, the fact that the hinge and the leaves are brought parallel are intended to be mortised flush to the edge of the door and frame. It also means that it's standard weight. The thickness of the leaf is 134 thousandths thick on a um, four and a half inch hinge. The 2-0 means swing clear and steel based at the same time, or both of those numbers. The 2 would mean swing clear and the 0 would mean steel based. There is a link below this video to what's called a cut sheet, and it's from there that you can review a very good graphic on, on what a door looks like when it's hung on swing clear hinges from a plan perspective. <clears throat> you have to select this hinge forgive me, let's finish the part number. The 045, that simply means that the hinge is four and a half inch tall. And the 640, that means two things. That means first, that the hinge is made of steel and that it is oil rubbed bronze. That link to the cut sheet shows you how the last part number changes from 5020 to 5021 if it's stainless steel based or 5020, pardon me, 5021 for a brass or bronze base hinge uh, or 5022 if it was stainless steel. Um, also, it shows the LB8020, the LB8021 and LB8022. The difference with the LB is that it's a three knuckle concealed bearing uh, hinge from Bomber. Now, when you look at the rest of the cut sheet, it will give you all of the dimensions that are important to know about this hinge. So I won't beleaguer all those points here. It's crucial to realize that there are two different versions of this hinge. They're the same hinge, but they're manufactured differently. One is for a square edge door and the other is for a beveled edge door. You can see from the beveled edge door sort of treatment to showing it from your perspective. This leaf, the inside leaf, pardon me, the outside leaf, if it's not manufactured correctly, having a degree of bevel on it, you would not be able to get the door to close properly if you were installing it on a square edge door. So it's crucial that you, you determine uh, before ordering the hinges if it's square edged or bevel edged. A lot of hollow metal doors are going to be uh, square edge. Um, that's very common. A lot of wood doors are going to be beveled. Uh, so if you're doing a hotel or a hospital, you'll see these everywhere in hospitals because they're pushing uh, you know, uh, 
wheelchairs through the openings. They need to get the door out of the way. You'll see beveled. Um, a lot of hollow metal doors, if you're seeing these installed in a grocery store and they're bringing the carts in and out and they want to get the door out of the way, or a condo building with steel doors and they're taking the dumpsters in and out of the trash room, uh, that could be a square edge door. It could also be beveled. Uh, the point of the matter is you have to check and know and order it correctly. And that is exactly what these are for. So primarily on swing clear hinges, what you're really trying to accomplish is compliance with ADA requirements uh, for uh, the clear opening width. The definition of that is 32 inch. If you have a three foot door and standard hinges, you'll be compliant within 32 inch clear opening width requirement. But if you had a two foot 10 door or something even smaller, you would not accomplish that uh, at all. So people that do swing clear hinges are either, it's mandatory to have compliance with ADA, or they just realize that good design for their application is better when the door gets out of the opening. You could have a three foot door, um, which would not require swing clear hinges for ADA compliance, but what you're moving through it might require you to do that. That's your good design. Uh, now, this hinge is available in those different base materials as we had discussed, but on the different base materials are different finishes. Steel, like this, you can get different finishes as well. All the, arc, the common architectural finishes, your brasses, your bronzes, your chromes, nickels. Uh, on your stainless, obviously polished or satin. Then on your solid brass or solid bronze based material, which is dictated by the finish you want, uh, you can get all of the common uh, architectural finishes as well, polished or satin or antique, uh, etc. Uh, uh, screws are included. You're going to get this uh, package. You're getting all wood screws and all metal screws. That's atypical. You usually get all metal and half wood is how that is. Um, options on this sort of hinge are going to be lots of them. First of all, different sizes. Uh, decorative tips, which would be very unusual to have anything but a button tip on here, but you could put an urn, ball, steeple, acorn tip on this. Security features are very common where you could turn this into a NRP, non-removable pin hinge. If it's an exterior door, swings out, you're probably going to want to consider a non-removable pin so that this pin cannot be driven out when it's been seated. It comes unseated like this pull the pin out when you're doing the installation, most likely rehanging your door. Uh, Bomber is a uh, full line manufacturer of all things architectural hinge related. And the last thing I'd like to point out to you is the Bomber logo. Right above it, it says Made in USA. A fact that Bomber is quite proud of, as am I to represent them. If you have any questions, technical or otherwise, on the Bomber BB5020-045-640 swing clear hinge, or any other bomber product, please feel free to reach out to us.